This just came in. I purchased it on Best Buy's website. It's a daily deal special that they had. It was about a hundred dollars off. According to their website, I double checked. Amazon or other websites ha did have it for hundred dollars more. So I think I paid one ninety nine. They had it for two ninety nine. I believe that's you know I got it. <laughs> just double check below. But if I'm just going off the top of my memory. Uh, I'm going off the top of my head when it comes to my memory, but. I could be wrong, just double check and I'll double check during the video and update that information. But I believe it was $199 and then uh, it usually goes for $300. So I thought it was not a bad price. It's a great idea, it reminds me, this is basically the mop version of the Roomba. Now the Roomba, I have a love-hate relationship with it as I used to love watching it go around and seeing my cat go crazy or uh, having, uh, I'm sure having other animals also go crazy must be a lot of fun. But uh, besides that, um, it was a headache having to always, it worked, but it always got filled very quickly and I would have to dump the debris in the Roomba constantly. So instead of it doing it on its own, there was just too much uh, effort in uh, dumping the stuff that's on it. Not that my house was dirty, <laughs> but I did have a lot of dust and everything. So this is, I guess, a video on how to use it. You can scan that or a link. Um, this is for the mops, I guess. And you know, it's strange because I'm looking at the pictures and I just thought it was a lot smaller so that Pictures were very misleading on the website, or it may be just me, but it looked a lot smaller. This looks a lot bigger. So this works by itself with rechargeable batteries like the Roomba, or you could actually hold it in your hand. And with the handle, you hold it and you can literally use it uh, to mop. Um, I don't know if it does windows. I'm not sure, I haven't gotten to that part yet. I will be reading the instructions and information on it more. But I actually want to surprise my wife with it to see what she thinks. And I also want to surprise my daughter to see what she thinks. So I'm downstairs in the basement filming and uh, I'm gonna bring it up and just start it up and see what they say when they see it. And then after that, I'll just read more about it and get some information on it. So let me lay everything out. I'm Oh, this must be, I was going to say, I hope this is not the rechargeable batteries for the actual item. I couldn't imagine that running. Suppose it runs for two hours. I couldn't imagine it running for two hours on two AAA batteries. This is the whole, there's nothing else in the box. Let me put all the debris back in. Lay everything out nicely to show you everything that comes with it. I might need this. This might be something. So I'm gonna keep that like that. It might be an area to keep it when the item sponges are wet, that you won't get puddles. This will all be at the end. Let's open everything up and show you what's inside. Or oh, what it comes with, actually. I'll have individual pictures of every single item on the table. So this is everything that comes inside or accessories, manuals, all the items. Let me see if I can put it together without, without reading one instruction at all. One piece of instruction or watching any videos. Let's measure like I usually measure. Uh, I usually measure the power supply. Again, like I usually tell people, what I end up doing with these power supplies, because you end up losing them all the time, is that I actually write on them once I confirm that I'm going to keep the item. 
And if it gets separated or lost from the item while moving or whatever have you, somebody moves it or, what, or whatever have you, you will know what this is for when you get it. Uh, so uh, another thing is I took pictures of the actual power supply and all the information here. That'll be at the end. So if you're looking for what power supply you need for this actual item, it'll be at the end on the slideshow. I'm measuring the length of the cable and the cable itself is about five feet or 60 inches long. The, you have to remove the tape that's around the actual mop to, uh, before starting. Let's put some batteries inside the remote. So the remote is gonna be fun using this. Again, pictures will be at the end, but this is what the remote does. Again, I have to, oh, 15 minutes. It's supposed to, I think, if I remember correctly, what I read about it on the actual website, and this is very difficult to open. It runs for about 50 minutes. So, we're gonna see if that's true, and I think it's a two hour charge, but uh, we'll also, I'll also see, I will see if that's, you know, Yay or nay, so I'm actually just plug it in and wait till tomorrow. Then, I have no idea what this is for. I guess I'm gonna find out, maybe to clean. I'm assuming this looks like a microfiber one. I'll confirm that also when I read the instruction. This looks like the, the microfiber also, but more like a mop-like. And this is the bottom and the top that comes with uh, a pair of each and then the actual item that goes underneath this so I don't know what this is for and I'm going to uh, uh, the, uh, one then two then three and then four oh no okay so I have to pull something to put water in it I guess we'll figure that out. This here? I guess this is the thing they pull. Oh, or is it here? Sorry. Oh, I think you lift this and put water in there. Is that what it is? So, yep, there it is. So lift lid and then uh, pour water inside the lid and then put it on. This is the actual item itself, and it's a lot bigger than I thought. So the handle itself is pretty big. Uh, the whole handle itself, it's about 10 inches long, and the actual area where you can put your hand through, it's about six, a little over six inches. It feels strong. It has a one and a quarter, uh, looks one, uh, about one and a quarter inch width. It feels good, strong, feels like a very well-made machine. And let me just, like I said, I was pretty surprised at how big it, uh, the box was. I so, thought it was a lot smaller, about 12 inches by the longest point, six inches. Pretty tall, it's about uh, four, four and one third inches. I don't know how much it weighs if you're holding it. So I'll get my, uh, once I put everything together, I'll, I'll weigh it with my scale. So this, because you're gonna be holding this, if you're holding this, I don't know if it does windows. I am not sure. So we're gonna find that out. Uh, let's put it on, see before, I, all the slots are there. All the slots are there. Let's fit it in. That was, that was easy. Let me see, is there any indication as to how you specifically put it on? Um, three, 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 three. So it has three notches on each one. 
And this doesn't look like it has the notches on it. Let's just um, see what I can do. Okay. I just went right in. Perfect. Okay, and then you, I guess you're going to take one of these. It has Velcro. I guess you could put... Let's weigh it to see how much it weighs. Let me see how I fit this on to make sure it gives me an accurate weight. Uh, I think that's pretty accurate. Um, you can't, let me see if you can see it. Three pounds, 9.4 ounces. So I'm gonna round it off to four pounds, just because I don't know if this is sitting on it correctly, since it's so much bigger. I have the corners, it's covering most of it, but just to be safe, I'm gonna say four pounds, uh, you're gonna be, I'm not sure if, oh yes, yes, that's right. Because this also does bathroom tile. So I saw on the website, someone using it on a bathroom tile, which is great because when I'm doing the bathroom tiles, it's, it's a big pain in the butt and, you know, it just doesn't get in there. So, uh, you know, I'm in there with, uh, you know, whatever I have using to clean and I'm scrubbing the, uh, the tile and be nice just to use this just to get it clean which is great and i'm going to look forward to cleaning the tiles in the bathroom with that and i'm looking forward to this doing the mopping for the floor so i don't have to do that anymore or at least helping and assisting me in doing that and let's see and hopefully it will um work and my wife and i will have to do less mopping and this will do the marking for us. All right, so let's set it up, put it to charge and try it out. And I think, yes, this is where it's gonna sit just because of the fact that it fits nicely. And again, this is gonna be wet. So when this finishes, you're gonna want somewhere to put it to maybe dry off or whatever have you. So this would be a good place to have it. I believe in that, so. And there's a service number there too. I'll have this at the end also. All right, let's plug it in and start the charge on it. There is, I have it plugged in right now to an outlet, but there is no power indicator unless it's not charged yet, I'm looking. I don't see a light or anything on, so let's hope it is charging. I see nothing on the light itself. Nothing over here, whatever that is. Let me read the instructions to get more information, but so far no light indication for it charging. According to the instructions, I have to wash these so before use. You ask me to, so I'm gonna take these out. Put them all in for me. I'm gonna do a quick wash on them as fast as I could by themselves. Put a little bit of soap in there and let's wash them. And we're going to do a quick wash. 25 minutes. Hold on, the door's not. Oh, the center door. Let's come back in 25 minutes. I'm gonna see if it's as easy to take off these pads as it was to put on. I think you pull on them. I think that's what it said until I hear. Okay, they come right out. Okay, they come right out. Now when you put them on, you just click them. Gotta get some water, fill this up. I did leave the item charging all night, so let's unplug this. Bring it upstairs and start getting everything ready. Cold water. Mm. 
I'm sure it's sealed. If I end up keeping it, this is gonna be my, be my charge station area. All done, I'm gonna leave them wet since they are supposed to be, I think they're supposed to be wet, so you're supposed to wet them. So I'm gonna leave them mildly wet. There's two pairs of the mop disc. Uh, there's the microfiber mop green color and the, the mother yarn mop gray color. So the mother yarn mop is thicker and it's better for, uh, ideal for dust and cracks and picking up spills. So I don't have that, I just vacuum. So I'm just looking to use the microfiber mop green color. So that's going to be this one. So let's put it on. I'm gonna put it on first. And you have to make sure that these, it sticks out of the edges so this doesn't hit. And it gets a good cleaning. Let me get the other one, put this to the side. Take this one. Put it on. So now let's put the actual disc on. And I'm going to try to put it this way so that I don't spill the water. And hopefully it will go in. Okay, that one so far. And then I move this in closer. Get it fit. Yep, perfect. Right, let me push it in. There it goes, it clicked. Oh, that one didn't click. Now that they're both on, I believe according to the instruction, these are the sensors and they sense whether you get to an obstacle or the edge of something. And it says that um, if they're not really good, you should really block it from the edge of stair, uh, staircases going downward as I don't have that problem. I have a door and I'm just gonna close it. Uh, but it says be careful when you have edges of staircases. Sometimes it can't it can't see it, so it could fall over. I'm, I'm, I don't have that problem. I'm not gonna worry about that. But just to give you a heads up, and I believe these are the sensors. I'm gonna confirm everything after I see it working and get an idea. So it, I left it overnight charging, and I think I just turned it on. and it stays solid blue. And then I think if you, and I'll read it to you later in regards to it, if you press it a certain amount of times, two seconds or something, it goes into manual mode or something like that. So let's get the remote. This is the map settings for the remote. So everything you see here, you'll see it on the remote, whether it be auto, 50 minutes or what have you. I'll have this at the end. So if you do end up losing this, you can come back and see a photo of this. So I'm going to choose 50 minutes and I'm going to do this wood floor. I moved my table all the way to the right and I just left it open. 90% of my home is wood. I only have one room with carpet. So it's going to be interesting to see this work. But pretty much I'm just going to use this in the dining room, living room, hall, the, two sm the small hall and the large hall and the kitchen. And that's it. So I'm looking for it to clean all this up. I took everything out. I vacuumed. And I want to see if I can notice the difference. This is my barrier to keep it from the other side so I can have it work here for 50 minutes. And I'm put it right there. And I'm going to put a chair here so that I'm going to film it. I'll do a fast forward mode so you don't get bored. So again, I'm going to choose the 50 minute option, which is down here. The manual, you're supposed to be able to control it here, turn it on. I don't know if I just press this. Oh, there it goes all by itself. Yeah, those edges, those edges are sensors. I just tell them to turn on.
My wife is here and she's going to give her opinion. What do you think of the floor? Is it cleaned up or? So far, I mean, there's a little mess spot, but I don't know if that's missed or it's just like something I stuck on. So it's been running about 40 minutes, so it hasn't finished. So far, so good. It doesn't look too bad, does it? No. Better than me doing it. <laughs> but there are some stuff. There's some paint here, but that, I think it's just because it's stuck on hard. I like it. I'm gonna finish off the video talking with my wife in regards to it after it's all said and done. And um, at the end, all the details in regards to the item will be digitally, digitally right to you um, with a slideshow of the item. And um, then we'll finish off the video. So let me let it finish. It's been doing really well so far. Been doing the dining room area and it's pretty cool. I'm gonna let it loose all over the house, but I'm just trapping it just to get the video. What I'm doing is trying to show you the circular motion streaks that it leaves. And I don't think the video is capturing it. Right here, I see it, but I don't think the, the camera is not catch. You know, I don't see it in the camera, but I see it with my own eyes. So right here, there's a streak. It's a circular streak. It's right there. Um, there's right here, circular streaks. There's a lot of circular streaks all over the place. and. You know, circular streak right here. I I really, really like the map, but I really don't like these streaks. So I've tried it twice and I've used, I've tested it with both different cloths and I'll show you that now. But I really don't like, there's a lot of streaks everywhere. Or I had it going up and down the hallway in the kitchen. And there's a lot of circular streaks. And when you stand up and you look down, you can see it even better. I don't think the capture is, the camera is capturing what I'm talking about. It's really hard to see. But visually, I could see it perfectly, you know, without using the camera when I'm looking. Yeah, I could see it. See more here. They're all over the place. So I tried these. What used to be green, but as you can see, it's very, very dirty. Wow. I did pick up dirt, but I'm hoping, I think one of the issues is that since these are so small and it's constantly circulating, that the streaks are being created by the dirt that stays on here during the cleaning. So it's sort of taking the dirt from one part of the home and moving it to another part of the home. I could be wrong. This is just my very very basic unprofessional opinion as a homeowner with wood floors that's it no, nothing else this is just my opinion but i think it gets so dirty because these pads are so small now i usually use this on a stick and usually what we do is we have several of them so we'll you know clean a certain area and after it gets dirty we won't reuse it. We'll just throw this in the washing machine and re and do an, and use another one to clean another room or another area. So we switch it out right away. And another thing is that you can actually put muscle power on this. So I think. These are the other pads. And like I said, it really, like it picks up a lot of dirt. The problem is, I was saying earlier, my wife's joining me in regards to ending this video, is that um, I was saying earlier, honey, that the issue is that once one area is cleaned and it goes to another area, it takes the dirt with it. 
And I think the streaks are being created by the dirt. Mm, yeah, as it sticks to the path. Yeah, so it's kind of spreading the dirt around, right? Would you say that's accurate? Uh, or I can say that or you're, you're not... Um... No, I agree. Okay, so the pads are just not small enough. So I was explaining that we use this with a mop stick and basically... You clean an area, once this gets dirty, you take it off and you use another one. We have two or three of these to replace. You're not gonna go to another room while this is dirty. So since you visually could see it, you can take it off and not spread the dirt around. Well, as you could see that there's dirt that needed to be swept up. So if, it, if there's anything that didn't get swept up on the mop head, it's just going to um, create like marks on it while it's if you continue, okay. what if you did it with this? Uh, but if you do with the other one, you manually rinse that each time in a bucket. Mm. There is, you don't have to worry about that. Oh, because you use it with a bucket and you. Yes. Okay. And all the dirt will stay within the bucket water. So we tried this with three different uh, liquid solutions. So I tried water, then I tried another solution. I'm not going to mention because my wife's not going to be happy about it. And then my wife asked me to use, uh, what was that called? Uh, wood, um, an almond wood cleaner. So I, I, it's uh, a cleaner for the wood floors. And I actually poured it in here and figured it's not gonna do any harm with a little bit of water. And it still was leaving streaks. So I think the problem is, is that it, it's gonna streak more and more because if I leave this for 50 minutes, I'm not gonna pick it up to check it underneath. I'm just gonna let the, ro the robot run. Mm -hmm. So if it's picking up a lot of dirt from one room, it's just gonna spread it to another area when it gets to that other area. Mm -hmm. You definitely have to make sure you sweep, you dust and sweep every um, bit of your floor before you start mopping. So pretty much this is a, um, yeah, but that was done actually, you know, so Pretty much this would be something you would do when you um, vacuum, sweep, and this sort of like, you know what, I, I'm not even gonna say that because the biggest problem with this is that there's no muscle power. It's not heavy enough to get in there and clean the floor. Whereas with this, you can put some muscle power behind it and push really hard. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm gonna wash them and uh, we've decided we're gonna return it. It's just not for us. It's just so much easier, faster, and I really don't like the streaks that it's leaving behind. Again, I can't, you can't really see it. My wife just pointed out another one. Let me see if we see it. Can you point it out to us? Oh, here, right here. Mm -hmm. I have a streak right here, but you can't see it in the camera. It's really hard. And where else do you see another? So there's another streak right there. It's really hard to see in the video, but we see it with our eyes. And there's a lot of them all over. and. I'm not happy with that. I think it needs muscle power to be pushed down. It's a nice idea. Uh, just to me, I think the floor has to be really, really clean and this is maybe a polisher in regards to it. But let's go over some of the things for those who wanna keep the item and wanna use it. So my wife's gonna help me with that. So for those that want to keep it, we're just going to go over some things. Um, honey, can you read us what the item comes with? It comes with the main unit, which is this right here. Uh, it says floor plate. So I'm assuming the floor plate is already attached to the unit right now. Yeah, it's up there. Okay. Um, okay. comes with the water supply mop kit, which is where you added the soap on the left. The mother yarn mop, that's the gray pads. The sure. microfiber mop, which is the green pads. The remote control with the battery and uh, the power adapter. And it also comes with a silicone uh, brush. Which what is that brush called? A silicone brush, which I'm assuming is to clean out the machine. And the note on the mother yarn mop is for that. I don't know. What is it for? I, I haven't seen that yet. 
uh, the mother yarn mop, this gray one, it says it's 100% thicker than microfiber and it's ideal for cleaning dust and cracks and picking up spills. And the microfiber mop, which is the green one, it's richer and longer yarns for a superior wiping performance. I'm looking to see what you would use a little brush for. So it didn't indicate how to use the brush, but it does tell you how to use and charge the item. Uh, and it indicates that you have to charge the product fully before you first operate it. And when you are charging the battery, the button on the main unit and the remote control will not work. Uh, they recommend only to use the authorized adapter. Uh, the yellow LED bl blinking uh, indicates a low battery level. The blue LED blinking indicates a medium battery level. And if the LED is off, then it means a full battery. Uh, the you wet the mops thoroughly with clean water and then you wring the water out. They recommend washing the mops with detergent for the first time before using it. I, I think that just softens and makes it more absorbent. Yeah, I, I did that in the beginning. And then you're supposed to attach the mop pads to the water supply mop kit. Then you open the rubber cap of that and you fill it with clean water. It says that if you use the product without the water, it causes uh, static electricity. It also indicates that you should only use water. So this is more like a wet mopping or wet dusting type of product if you're not using any kind of soap. Um, then you're supposed to close the rubber cap of the water supply mop kit and attach it to the bottom of the main music unit. Uh, you press down while gently turning side to side. Then you hear a click when they're attached. Uh, thereafter, you press the operation button for two seconds until it beeps and the, lights, the light stays on and then you can start cleaning. And then after you use it, you pour out any remaining water from the water supply kit. There's uh, different cleaning modes and like little maps that you can uh, set for the for the type of cleaning you want it to do. That's all on the remote control. Mm -hmm. Can you read them out? And so you can do auto, which it automatically does a cleaning for you. Edge, which I guess starts from the edges and then works its way in. Focus, which is like a circle pattern in the middle. Intensive, I'm not really sure what that is. It is have a pattern, something called step, 50 minutes. And, and that's, manual. it gives you map indication as to where it's going and it'll be at the end. All that, all these patterns, I'll have it at the end if you need to get them clear, uh, a clearer view. And then there's a handy cleaning mode. I'm not sure what handy cleaning mode. So the handy cleaning mode and product maintenance it tells you how to use the handy cleaning mode. You lift the unit by the handle, then you press the operation button twice quickly. And then you press the operation button if you want to stop the handy cleaning mode. That's to hold it up and clean like a tile the bathroom tile on the wall. Mm. That's for the handheld option. Mm. So. It indicates that you're to start it, you make sure you hold the main unit sufficiently away from any surrounding surface before you press the operation button twice quickly. And when you are using it, all these sensors are going to be turned off. So this is, the sensors are made so that it won't fall off a, uh, it won't fall down a set of stairs. Mm. So right now, I just set it by double pressing it very, turning it on and double pressing it very quickly, and it goes into this mode. And now it's just circular. Uh, I guess you can clean windows with it, you know, do different things, but it is heavy. I can't imagine my wife holding this up for a very long period of time. 
it's a very heavy machine. So I, I think I weighed it was about two pounds or something. And when you're holding it up, it's, you know, heavy. Okay, next. Yeah. And then to exit the handy cleaning mode, you press the operation button on the main unit or you, or the start and stop button on the remote control. Then it gives you LED indications um, and descriptions of the different LED lamps, uh, which I mentioned a couple before, the yellow, yellow blinking, that's not enough battery, the blue or the blue blinking, the battery is more than 80% charged. Uh, the, if it's, the light is off, then it's fully charged, uh, which is a little different than other items. Um, and then when you're actually using it, the blue blinking, uh, it says change mop and fill with water in the water supply mop kit and start the cleaning again. When the yellow is on, you recharge the battery. When the yellow is blinking, you check whether the unit stopped due to an obstacle or any foreign substances in the mop guide kit or inside the water supply mop kit. And then the red blinking is checked to see whether the authorized adapter was connected to the main unit. Uh, you turn it off and on again, and then you restart cleaning. And then if the LED light is off, the main unit is turned off. It indicates that if there is an error, the main unit will stop and, does, and sound an alarm for five minutes while the LED blinks. And after the alarm sounds and the LED blinks 10 times, the unit will power off after a few minutes. It says, this is not a malfunction. Please check. LED lamp is off. The machine is not used for five minutes. It will automatically turn itself off and the LED will go out. If the LED is on, if you press the operation button for two seconds, the uh, LED will turn on, indicating the unit is ready for use. If the alarm sounds while operating, there will be a blue blinking. After 15 minutes of cleaning, the main unit will stop and sound an alarm, alerting the user to add water to the water supply mop kit. It says, before cleaning, we recommend you recharge the unit and replace with new clean mop. And that is the end of the instructions. So that's the information on the item, on the quick start guide in regards to the item. Again, you may want it. This may be good for you. Uh, we don't like it. Um, it's, a, it's a great idea, uh, uh, having the robot do the work. Uh, but even the Roomba didn't work for us because of um, having to refill and having, you know, having to constantly empty the container and refill it. Also, I would find my Roomba in other rooms. It gets stuck, and it's not supposed to do that. I had the Roomba, the original, and then I bought, purchased the Roomba. It actually went back to its charger, and I, I, I set it up. I ran it for a week, and I think maybe it successfully went back to its charger two times in that week. I'd always come home and find it in the middle of the living room. So I ended up returning that item. I just never found these electronic items to work. I've purchased them and tried them. I really did. I would run, I would look at the instructions, try different things. Like with this thing, I besides water, I wanted to see, well, maybe if I add another cleaning solution, would it help? Nothing. It just, it didn't do it. Uh, it's just, it's too many streaks. And, you know, for that, I just go back to my old mopping item. But again, this is just my opinion. I mean, we are a non-professional mopping, cleaning people. We just like to keep our home and floors clean. And we thought this item could come in handy while we're on the computer at work or school or what have you, have this running in the background. Uh, we really tried to have it work well. We were hoping it would work well, but I can't deal with the streaks. And it's been uh, about four days we've been using now this, right? about four days and it just has not stood up to it's to what I needed to do. All right, so I hope you liked the video. I hope it helps. I hope it was informative. Thank you, bye. Bye. 
some info on item. Samsung Jetpot Mop Wide. Model, VR20T6001MWAA SKU 6420152. 03202021 cost $199.99 purchased on Best Buy website daily deal overview description sit back relax and let the Samsung Jet Mop automatically clean your floors Samsung's Jet Mop automatically cleans all type of floors like tile vinyl laminate or hardwood this robotic mop features dual spinning fiber pads that easily and quickly remove dust and dirt. Now, you can simply take it easy as the intelligent jet mop does the hard work for you. Features. Simplicity in action. Designed to make your life easier, the Samsung jet mop automatically navigates around your home while avoiding obstacles, as too moist. Spinning pads made from advanced fabrics mop your floors from wall to wall to remove dust stains and grime dual spin technology clean effectively under beds and sofas and on all types of flooring including tile and hardwood with the jet mops powerful dual spin technology two pads spinning at high rates of speed allow the unit to move turn and clean simultaneously for maximum results automatic water disperser double water tanks allow the jet mop to run for up to 50 minutes without any need to refill dispersing just enough water to keep the pads thoroughly moisturized while minimizing the amount of drying time smart sensor system clean corners precisely and safely while avoiding walls carpeting furniture or objects thanks to the jet mops smart sensors the system even stops the unit from dropping off steps or stairs, ensuring risk-free operation. Superior edge coverage. Designed to clean along hard-to-reach areas, the Jet Mop's spinning pads are intelligently positioned to extend from under the unit so it can thoroughly remove even more dust and hair. Long-lasting battery life. Save time by cleaning for longer periods in one go with the Jet Mop's high-capacity battery with the capability to mop for up to 100 minutes. You can mop a large floor area, from corner to corner, without the need for additional charging. Asterisk. Multiple cleaning modes. The Jet Mop represents flexibility at your fingertips, with eight cleaning modes. Choose focus mode to concentrate on a particular area, or let the jet mop move around freely on random mode. Switch modes from anywhere in your house with the handy remote control. Hand mode for floor to wall cleaning. The jet mop is so versatile, it lets you clean by hand where other mops can't reach. Hand mode lets you manually clean where you want, to remove stains on kitchen and bathroom tiles, or wipe off marks on a wall. Two types of pads. The Jet Mop comes with two sets of machine washable pads. The microfiber pads are ideal for everyday mopping, while the mother yarn pads are 100 times thicker than the microfiber and are best for heavier duty mopping like cleaning up spills. Based on testing in an area with furniture arranged in a similar way to a real home setting. Because of this capacity, it may also allow you to mop multiple times on a single charge. What's included? Microfiber mop. Remote control. Samsung jet mop. Silicon brush. Specifications. Key specs. Voice assistant built-in specifications info info. Not applicable. Pet. No. Cleaning path width. 12 inches. Vacuum type. Robotic mop. Bin capacity. 0 gallons. Product weight specifications info info. 3.5 pounds. Bagless. Yes. Compatible floor type. Bare floor, ceramic tile, concrete, engineered woods, hardwoods, laminate, linoleum, vinyl, tile, porcelain tile. Corded cordless. Cordless. Wet and dry usage. Yes. Filter type. None. Hypoallergenic. No. Multi-surface. Yes. Attachments included. Microfiber mop, mother yarn mop, silicon brush. Auto docking and recharging. Yes. Room by ring room navigation. 
Yes. At controlled specifications info info. No. Compatibility. Voice assistant built-in specifications info info. Not applicable. General. Product name. Jetbot Moth. Brand. Samsung. Assembly required. Partial. Model number. VR20T6001MWAA. Color. White. Color category. White. Dimension. Product height specifications info info. 5.4 inches. Product length specifications info info. 6.5 inches. Product width specifications info info. 12.9 inches. Feature. Bagless. Yes. Wet and dry usage. Yes. Filter type. None. Voltage specifications info info. 3.7 volts. Remote control. Yes. Batteries included specifications info info. No. Performance. Edge cleaning. Yes. Noise level. 63 decibels. Programmable cleaning intervals. Yes. Power. Self-charging. No. Charger included. Yes. Battery charge time specifications info info. 150 minutes. Battery size specifications info info. NA. Battery capacity specifications info info. 100 milliampere hours. Warranty. Manufacturer's warranty, parts. 1 year. Manufacturer's warranty, labor. 1 year. Other. UPC. 887,276,409,894. Samsung Jetbot Mop VR20T6001MW signature feature simplicity in action, avoids obstacles as wet spinning pads remove dust and grime dual spin technology, two spinning pads turn and clean simultaneously for maximum results automatic water disperser. Double water tanks allow for up to 50 minutes run time without any refill needed, 11 based on internal testing in an area with furniture arranged in a similar way to a real home setting. The two water tanks need to be refilled every 50 minutes. Available color white features, dual spin technology, automatic water disperser, smart sensor system, 150 minute recharging time, 100 minute cleaning time, 63 dBA, 27 W suction power, max, dual spin technology, Li-ion battery, 8 cleaning modes, auto, manual, spot, edge, intensive cleaning, step cleaning, 50 minutes cleaning, pattern cleaning, hand mode for floor to wall cleaning automatic water disperser accessories, two types of pads microfiber mop, mother yarn mop, silicon brush for cleaning mops, remote control Samsung Jetbot Mop VR20T6001MW feature simplicity in action, avoids obstacles as wet spinning pads remove dust and grime dual spin technology, two spinning pads turn and clean. Simultaneously for maximum results automatic water disperser, double water tanks allow for up to 50 minutes run time without any refill needed, one smart sensor system, safely cleans corners and avoids walls, carpeting and furniture superior edge coverage spinning pads extend from under the unit to clean corners and wall edges long lasting battery life, high. Capacity battery allows you to mop up to 100 minutes on a single charge multiple cleaning modes, switch between 8 cleaning modes with the handy remote control hand mode for floor 2, wall cleaning manually clean wherever you want using hand mode, 2 types of pads, choose microfiber or mother yarn, which is 100 times thicker than microfiber. Both are machine washable. One based on internal testing in an area with furniture arranged in a similar way to a real home setting. The two water tanks need to be refilled every 50 minutes. Copyright Sign 2020 Samsung Electronics America, Inc. 85 Challenger Road, Ridgefield Park, New Jersey, 07660. Tell. 800 Samsung Samsung.com Samsung is a registered trademark of Samsung Electronics Company, limited warranty one-year warranty product dimensions and weight, 
WXHXD, Dimensions, 127-8x51-2x61-2 weight, 3.5 LBS shipping dimensions and weight, WXHXD, Dimensions, 153-5x91-16x93-10 weight, 5.95 LBS color model code UPC code white VR20T6001MWAA887276409894.